So I'm here with Alex from Premier Custom Homes. He's gonna be taking this place and, you know, making it not so crazy. <laughs> Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. Hey, listen, so this week is going to be a little bit different because we had a incredible amount of rain this week. So there were only two days this week that we were able to actually get out the house to do anything. One of which I actually got to go out with our contractor, Alex Rivera, who's going to be doing all the heavy lifting for this project once I get the demo done. So we went out to walk through so he could get a feel for where we are and what kind of condition the bones of the house are in and how I can best go about the demolition process for both my safety and the safety of the building so we don't do more damage than we have to. Here. You said this door was, uh, you couldn't open it up? No, the other one on the other side, you couldn't open it up. Oh, okay. Home, honey, I'm home. <laughs> Were you working or playing? Jamie found that. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So we got this all cleaned out. This will come out tonight. We're going to start to get this done. Um, like I said, this door does not open. Okay. Um, I wouldn't worry about that door as nah. of yet. Uh, what we need to do is, I mean, I would, I would demo all of this. All this will be gone. Start with the ceiling first, then start ripping out on the walls. Right. Because all this has to come out. I mean, it's all got to go. Ceiling fan and everything. Got to pull that all out. Uh, I mean, there's no electrical meter in the house, is there? There's electric in it. That's not currently lighting, but that doesn't mean there's not electrical to it. Going to it. Right. Um, breaker panel, just shut shut the main. Yeah. And shut the main down and um, try to terminate that, put the end caps on. That means I have to go into the basement. Yeah. yeah. Have you been into the basement? Yeah. Yeah. You suck. It's kind of, it's kind of gross. <laughs> just a little gross. Oh, there's a hole there. Where? Right here. Holy crap. The hole in the floor. <laughs> it's never a dull moment. No, not. Jeez. It felt like it looked like there was a hole there too. Um Yeah, all the all this all this has to go anyway. Yeah. So, I'll look upstairs. Absolutely. Yeah, that was my biggest concern was going upstairs. Right. All right, this one here. All right. Well, that's where my cup went. I wouldn't start over there, even though, even though you think that's a, the best place to start, I would still start back here and work in. Okay. All that's really unstable there, man. Right. So I would start here. Like I said, bring bring your, your best friend, which is going to be that four foot uh, pry bar. Right. And just work your way this way. Because all that's, once you start ripping and all that, it's going to fall. And there's insulation here. It's, it's wet. Mm -hmm. It's very heavy. Once you take out this one by, all that stuff might come crushing down. So I'd rather have you take all of this out first. Right. And let the vibration see what happens there and just kind of work your way little by little, take your time. And then start picking at the walls. This is all got to come out. Yeah. Um, and like I said, I don't think that the cross members are going to be. Yeah, we don't know. We have to. It's so it's so wet. I mean, I could I could tell by looking at it. It's so wet. Mm -hmm. We gotta let it dry out, and then from there I can check on the integrity of the lumber. 
I can't tell you. That insulation wet like that up against that beam. Yeah. You just don't know. I need we need to take it all down and then then we could make an assessment. There's a sag right in the middle. Right. That's all gonna have to get if those beams have been wet so long, I'm, I can tell you right now they're all warped and and I can tell from upstairs, it is solid upstairs, but you can tell that the floor is above. Because it was wet for so long and you had so much crap up there. Yeah. You filled up, didn't you say you filled up a dumpster and a half already? or, or A like full 30 yard dumpster. With the stuff just in the attic? From here, the, most part? the attic, um, the the other rooms, but yeah, primarily from here in the attic. Yeah, so Let's it's, go had, up. it's had a lot of weight. Yeah, Definitely. Um, we got this door open finally, there's nothing in it. I was kind of disappointed. Just some mothballs. <laughs> okay. I had one left so we couldn't fit into the dumpster. You were just done. You're like, the hell with that. I'm stepping over it. <laughs> I'm not touching another bag. A lot better up here already. I mean, you can actually see the floor. Yeah, I even sweat. Oh, you had a seance or something over there? No, I marked off where the uh, floor, where I could tell that the floor was oh, really yeah. nasty. Yeah. And honestly, it's not as wet as I thought it'd be up here after yesterday, but. Yeah. It looks like it's actually. Oh yeah, it's it's collapsed. Yeah, yeah for sure. It's definitely collapsed. Oh, that's two doors down. Right? Yes. Shooting airsoft. <laughs> yeah, right. But yeah, so you got have this insulation here. So I wonder if that goes down into the walls. It might. I mean, but we'll know when we pull it out. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping. I mean, that'd be great. Because you do have a couple of rooms that are drywall that uh, you, know, you might not have to do as much, you know? Mm -hmm. So this one's definitely roast. This one looks like it's rough too. Like that one's actually fallen into the pan. The pan is inside it. Yeah, I know. Sketch. Pretty awesome. <laughs> Cool and I, I know that this one was in underneath the tarp or over top of the tarp when I pulled the tarp out. So we'll see. Now with doing nose, what does that mean for this up here? Well, I mean, we already know this was gonna have to all this all this is all gonna have to come. This section right here is all gonna have to be pretty pretty much reframed. And redone. I mean, even that, look at, I mean, you got plywood outside, everything is all gone. So, right. It's just got to get it all get redone. Cool. That's a shame. This is good lumber. It's solid. I love, I love older houses, man. They're right. Just the, the type of lumber they used back then, everything is so much better. Right. I, the only reason why this house is still standing the way it's standing is because it's that not timber. It's not that new timber, new pine that we use nowadays. I mean, look, you, I mean, look at this rough cut lumber. Right. It's awesome. The only reason why this house is still standing up. Yeah, especially with all the yeah holes still up there. If this was a newer, newer, you know, newer material. Mm -hmm. So we we discussed pulling is. this chimney out. How far down are we going to knock it down? Are we going to knock it down to here? Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't go any further than that. I no. To... I just wasn't sure if you were going that far, if you were just taking it there, capping it there. No. I'll take it flush right through the ground. Okay. Yep. There's no no purpose to it. Right. Except for, you know, cause more leaks. Yeah. Which I think it's showing signs of leak. What do you think? Yeah, a little bit. A little tiny bit. What's up yeah, with that? Stuff. No, I just did that. Yeah, you see the, you see the, oh, okay, the spikes on there. Gotcha. Cool. Well, you have a game plan for that room now? Yeah. Start from the back and start, start hitting it and back. see what happens. Yep. Make sure you wear a hard hat. I have a hard hat. I have 
Um, are the respirators we just got in. Yeah. Um, I just want to get that all knocked out so that you can take and get in here and understand more of what you guys need to do for preparation. Mm -hmm. So with, with this project happening the way it is, with the roof the way it is, we need to get this thing sealed up as fast as possible because, like I said, this floor is soggy. We got rain two days ago, but I have not been in this house yet where this floor has been dry. So we need to get the carpet out of here. We need to get the ceiling down. We need to get, at the very least, this side of the wall out in both this room and the room below the living room so that Alex and his guys can see what damage there is so that we can take him you know, properly fix it so that it's not some janky or situation here. Yep. Yep. Janky. We don't want that janky. We don't want janky. No janky. Mm. And I mean, this sheetrock here is already falling and you have yeah. the plaster behind the sheetrock. Or did they, they take the they, plaster they, out? No, they didn't take the plaster out. They, they uh, put these straps with these uh, little being one buys and just put the, you know, it's the cheaper, right? it's the cheaper option. It's not the correct option, but it's the cheaper option. That's what they went for. Yeah. Cool. They should have ripped, ripped all the plaster out and, and redone it. This is where that bucket was that had the pipe in it. Oh, what's to go out? <laughs> and when what was I, the hose? You said there was a hose. There was a hose to it and it went outside. So, so it where would did catch, it go outside? Through there? Uh, I think it went outside through the, um, the eve. That is, that's, I, that's, I've never seen that. Yeah, and it was so bad that I just took a broom handle and I hit it and it boom! <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's janky. Janky. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, man. Cool, thanks for coming out. Yes, sir. My pleasure. Um, I'm, I'm thinking that give me another week and a half, maybe two at the outside, and we'll have these two rooms demoed out so you can at least get in here and understand what you're doing. Okay. So, yeah, we got this all cleaned out. That bathroom has not been touched. It's still That's fine. moldy as anything. Ooh, something fell. That's fun. That wasn't there before. Oh, the rain is coming in, coming in from somewhere. Yeah. Oh, we didn't get in this room before. Oh, no? No. Uh, this was locked off. No. Yeah. Nothing. See, now. So, what I'd like to do with this room, if it's at all possible, since the laundry was back behind us here, I would like to have this be the laundry room. With the exit door here. I don't know if we can expand this door. I, I don't know if we can do anything with this, or we just need to knock it down. Well, um, I mean, we would have to completely redo it. And he, he built it out of... Look at it. He built it out of jank. I mean, it's just... We can, I mean, we can save it, though. You know, I just don't so know. So what would your it. suggestion be for a room like this? Gut it. Gut it all. And maybe let's, let's look at the structure and then see what we can make it, make okay. it into. It looks it's, like it's built like a barn. Yeah, that's what it is. I mean, it's just, he just threw it up. Yeah. So. Bye. Um, because what I'd like, ideally like to do is put some kind of an opening in this wall so that we can get more light into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And if we made this counter space or something here, I don't know, maybe like a, like a pass through island. I know this is a load bearing wall. But if we could no, do that, we could still do something. But I know we talked about um, expanding it or opening up a little bit, right? And uh, into the kitchen, and then possibly moving everything in there as long as that room is salvageable. Mm -hmm. God, either way, I don't think this is going to be a laundry room when we're done. Um, even if the laundry goes in the basement, yeah. At the very worst, I would say do that. Yeah. Um, the other contingency is taking that. The other bedroom, that weird bedroom, and making a oh, closet the, in there. The staircase going up into yeah. the uh, attic, that would be a perfect spot. And we could All use, the bedrooms are upstairs anyway. Right. 
Now that would mean the laundry would be in one of the bedrooms. It's only a three bedroom and that is one of the bedrooms. But you just market it as a three bedroom. Huh? You said it's a four bedroom in that room. No, but it's only a three bedroom. Oh, okay. So that would be the yeah, third bedroom. You don't, want, you don't want to do that. So it would be the basement or it would be yeah. right. And if we made that into like a utility room, that'd be really cool. See, I have my other little logic one. I couldn't get that one to start at all. But why couldn't you get it to start? I, it just, well, it would start, but it's the steel, bro. it'll start. What's the matter with you, man? It starts, but it won't move the chain. What? Yeah. And every time you go to click it, it goes ring. And it just dies. You like my reenactment. Oh, you got it locked. Have you opened this up at all? I tried. Were you you weren't successful at opening it? Oh, I opened it. I just don't know what's in. I don't know what I'm looking Dude, at. You just had the brake on. Where's the brake? Right here. This is a kick brake. So if you're if you're if you're cutting uh -huh. and it all if it bucks on you, this is a safety feature. So you just kick it back. Listen, I don't do wood, okay? I'm just. I don't do wood. I should, don't know. It should work just fine now. Sir. Okay, you're a jerk. <laughs> The nerve trying, of this guy. I'm just trying to help you out. It's okay. Man. I'm going to use the electrical one in the house. I would use that. That's where the fun is. <laughs> Get the house all smoky. Yeah. Yeah. And then walk out the front door with my full... Um, Cam Warfare gear with the smoke behind you? No, about that. The white... The white mocks with the mask on and the hard hat. And then that just walk out. It's Halloween, baby. Let's That's do it. this. I'm going to scare the crap out of some kids. With a can of some moldy corn. <laughs> Just toss that at people. That It'll explode. <laughs> yeah, you should be good with that now, sir. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Let's get you back to work so you can pick up the babies. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. And we've made so much progress already. Um, it's going to be a fun project. I, I scared Did you. Get the snake skin and the. Oh, that's up in the dresser. Listen, man, stop. I don't do snakes, all right? That's fine. I don't think the snakes are here anymore. You know, I bombed this thing with 12 or 9 bug bombs. Oh, did you? Yeah. Every room got a bug bomb, and then the garage got a bug bomb. Because I was not messing around. <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't what you do with um, I would say the same thing. What you do with snakes is what I do with bugs. I don't like it. I don't want it. Alex, tell me a little bit about your company, man. You just put me on the spot, don't you? Absolutely. You Johnny on the spot. Johnny on the spot. Hi, Premier Custom Homes. Uh, what do you want to know? I mean, we build custom homes. We, from start to finish, we design, you know, depending on what our clients are looking for. And um, we've been at it for going on 17 years now mm -hmm. it's a long time and uh and you also do remodels I do remodeling yep are you sure that you want to continue to uh, do you know, remodels you know yeah yeah i enjoy it yeah okay. i enjoy it because where else do you find that situation right where you have you know you know with with you always have different obstacles different things you have to tackle and it's fun it keeps you know breaks up the monotony sometimes yeah now you have a partner yep and you guys are the primary management of the entire company. Yeah. And then you use other subcontractors. We have subs, too. yeah, for certain for certain things, and then every you know there there are things that we do ourselves. It just depends on the project. Yeah, you know, we do everything from you know framing to drywall. I mean, it just depends. You know, as long as there's no snakes. No snakes, you know. No, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not doing, I'm not doing the snakes. You know. I'll, I'll manage. Yeah. But I ain't going in there. Hey, you should check, check, check in there. You see snakes? No? Okay. Look under there. <laughs> Let's lift that up real quick. Let me check that out. So we were cleaning out the attic and uh, Sandy picked up something and walked away. And from under what she picked up, I saw a snake skin. I'm like, hey, Hey, mom. Where where was this? The, up in the attic. I've cleaned in it the up. Attic. It's fine. We were just we were just in the attic. Yeah, but I cleaned it all up. It's fine. Okay. I was looking for anything. I couldn't find anything. Okay. So right. um, we found a few snake skins up there. They were, they were like you know they weren't they weren't that they weren't. You that started long. here and you ended up. Here. Well, I, and I think it was broke up in two pieces, but. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
that's so, not right. <laughs> She she pulled away some kind of a blanket or tarp or something, and there was a snake skins in there. I'm like, hey, hey, mom, there. Just so you know, just so you're aware, there's a snake skins in here. She's like, all right, thanks. You could have not told me. Well, if I didn't tell you, then you would have found it on your own, and then you would have been freaked out. And so we continued on, no big deal. The next day, Jamie and her parents came over to visit and work on the house with me. That group, whole group project's been great. And Jamie's looking through the front bedroom and she opens up the top drawer on the dresser that's there in the front bedroom. Uh, that just doesn't sound like a good idea. And there, there's another one that's, you know. So there's three, two snakes. Three foot long. I think it's the same snake. Just No, I don't think so. No? I think it's a different one? Uh, yeah. Yep. In my brain, there's a colony now. A colony, okay. There's, there's a whole city. So, I'm walking... There's a village of snakes in there right now in my brain. <laughs> Why are you telling me this? So you I'm, want me to go back? I'm walking into the house, or into the Jeez. bedroom, and Jamie about bowls me over and almost throws me off the banister. She's like, ow, 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 I'm out, I'm out. I'm like, what's going on? She's like, there's a snake skin, I'm done. I'm like, okay. So, her dad, of course, walks in. Fearless guy. Bruce is absolutely fearless. Guy is, you know, strong as a box of nails. So he walks in there, he starts opening drawers. Here, pet, 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 pet. <laughs> Jamie was gone. Nope. She's done. Yep. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. No. I won't do it. Well, I guess that's, it's good that you're not doing the demo then. Yeah, we all will. You know, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Discount on the rehab. Oh, jeez. Hey, that plaster's Everything. no joke, man. Uh, That's going to wear you out. The books are no joke. <laughs> no. Wait until you start filling up them bags with plaster. You put maybe about a... I'm not thinking that we're doing bags for the plaster. I'm thinking we're doing five-gallon buckets. Okay. I think that might be the best option. See, I'm the kind of guy, if I'm going to move, because I do have a lot of books, and I have a lot of, you know, very dense things in my house, like books and computers and things I pack them in small boxes like this big because I can move those two or three at a time versus trying to pick up a 75 pound full out yeah. box of books work smart not hard right you, who's who's doing this with you? you you got you got help yeah I got mama Sandy's gonna help him. who Sandy mama why are you putting her through that? She chose it, not me. I asked her what she wanted to do. She's like, I hope it demo. I'm like, all right. Jamie, I hope a little bit too. Okay. Jamie's all about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just. Okay. You think I should hire somebody? No. I just, I, I think you might need another hand or two. Just yeah. To, it, just it, to kind of. I don't think you realize the, the weight. Oh, I do. I do. Um, you haven't started that process yet. No. Yeah. But I've been there before. Okay. All I right. understand that. All right. That's not going to be fun. It's no. not going to be pretty. No. It's not. No. I don't know that I'll be able to utilize half the video from that portion of this whole thing because it might turn explicit. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> it might. Oh, but the video capture of a scenario where I'm just sitting there hitting stuff off the ceiling, the whole ceiling is just right in front of me. And that's going to happen, too. That's and that's why I was telling you to work from that doorway. So and, you can jump. Well, yeah. You're going to want to, you know, have an exit strategy real quick if you if things go south. Uh, uh, you know, it's just one of the things that come along with, with that type of work. Uh-huh. You know, try to protect yourself as much as possible. Body armor. At least a hard hat. I have a friend of mine that has a full um, suit of armor. I may have to oil I mean, it if down. You wanna, if you want to, you know, get a little eccentric with it. <laughs> have some fun along the way. <laughs> Why not? Full suit of armor. Why not? That, that'll be that'll be something for the record books, that's for sure. Have the lights on, you got the dust going, and all of a sudden the neighbor just see this suit of armor just wailing on crap in the middle of the house. Yeah, yeah. The cops show you up. You might have some uh, spectators by the time you're done. Yeah. Well, I'm already going to. I mean, hi, YouTube. True. 
Very true. The shenanigans will be prevalent. Cool. Well, thanks for riding along with me. Well, guys, thanks for riding along with us. I hope this gave you a little more insight on just how incredibly gargantuan this project is going to be. Next week, we will be digging in and we will be demoing that room. Oh, boy. So many things. Just so many things that happen here is fantastic. Listen, guys, like, subscribe. That way you get the notifications when these videos come live every week. So many crazy things. You're going to enjoy it. I'll see you next week.